Hello, and thank you for stopping by JD Halls and More. I'm Jennifer, and today I have got a small Dollar Tree haul for you all. Plus, I've got something to show all you. You ready? Somebody's ready to make her debut. I want you to meet our newest addition to our family. This is Fergie. She is, you're 10 weeks today. She is, um, she was born on January 26th and she is uh, part mini Australian Shepherd and part Pomeranian. She's five pounds right now. Her mom is 20 pounds. She's the mini Australian Shepherd and her dad's the Pomeranian and he's like 10 pounds. So we're kind of guessing around that weight limit, probably like 15 so. So this is our little new little girl in the family. Her and Duke are doing pretty good. He's kind of getting protective of her now. We've had her since Sunday. Our two cats, the older one, the tabby, Quiver, she could care less. Lyric, on the other hand, you know, our um, calico cat's a little bit um, moodier, I guess you could say. So, but yeah, this is Fergie. She says, hi, everybody. So. Okay, I don't know if she'll stay by me or if she'll go take a nap. It's about her nap time, so. But I'm going to start with my Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to start with the food items. I found these. These are like the Pringles. Um, they're just called Super Stack. They're 5.5 ounces. And this is sour cream and onion. Like I said, it looks a lot like the Pringles can. I have no idea. Never seen them before. This is just the original. And then it comes in in salt and vinegar. And the last one I found is the cheddar cheese. I don't know. Let me know if any of you have found these. I'll try to grab them all. <laughs> and if there's more out there, I have no idea. Just the four I found. And then I also found these Jello jelly beans. They're lime, cherry, blueberry, or berry blue strawberry and orange and this is a four ounce it looks like that so i'm just gonna put her put it in our little um little chicken little glass dish that we have out in our kitchen and then we're gonna move on to like health and beauty kind of thing i found this by crystal waters it's a two pack it's lip balm it's uh this one is strawberry scented and grape scented i have no idea what they, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and open it. Okay, so, oh. Oh, they're just glued together. I'm like, they were together, but no, it's just that it's tacky stuff that's in packaging. So, oh, she is laying down right by me here. <laughs> All right, so this one, let me see. Yep, you just kinda, oh. Okay. It's like clear, you can't, it's just a clear like gel. There you go. Yeah, I guess it smells like strawberry. The sticky stuff on the outside that was holding them together is really sticky. So just watch for that. And then this one is the grape. Again, a clear gel. Oh yeah. Nice lip balm. I know, real attractive, but I mean, kind of have to put a lot on for it to even make your lips smooth. So just keep that in mind. But it's very, it's hydrating. Yeah. Hmm. And it does smell like it like the grape and the strawberry, just like it says. So, no taste. I didn't know if it would be, or flavor. I didn't know if there would be or not. The next thing I see people haul these and there's been different types. This one is Goli. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, gelatin-free and vegan-free. This is the 30 um, gummies. And basically, let me see, what does it say? Take two gummies twice daily. So there we go. 
And like I said, this one is um, the 30 gummies. And then comes Big Daddy here. Same green, or same thing, the Goalie Super Greens gummies. And these are 60. So twice daily, or two of them daily. And let me see. Okay, this is good through the end of um, June. And the same with this. That's why they're at the Dollar Tree, because they're getting close to expiry. But, you know, I don't know. And this one says on the go. So let me know if you have got these in your store, if you got bought them. I'll, I mean, are they good? I'm guessing. I've, I've seen what red ones as well. I'm not sure what, what kind that is, but these are the super green gummies. And then I found Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E Moisture Boost Protein Pack, two times coconut oil. And it's created for all curl patterns and textures. So for healthy looking hair. So I figured I'll try that. See if it brings out my curls. Not as curly it usually is when it's freshly washed. I just washed it last night, so it's been slept on. But yes, I did cut my hair again. And then I found this Yes to Coconut Hydrating Paper Mask with to Coconut to Hydrate. It's for dry skin. I have both combination uh, normal to dry on my face. So try that. Let me get some of these out of the way here. And then the next big is like cleaning supplies. Um, grab it here. Finally found these. It is for your ceiling fan cleaner. So I got two of them. Harley has a ceiling fan up in his bedroom. And we have one out in our big living room here. So, and I've been on the look for them. Finally found them. So got that. And then I've seen people haul these as well. These are by BioPeer, contains plant-based fiber, kills 99% of germs, and it's in the fresh morning breeze. There's 50 wipes, and it's an antibacterial hand wipes with aloe and vitamin E. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. Not sure if I'm saying that. So I thought I'd give them a try. Like I said, I've seen people haul them. Now this was a surprise to me. We have an HG watcher and dryer, but... Um, this is for a washing machine. It's a cleaner, deep cleaning formula. We've gotten, um, for our washer, we've cleaned it. Every couple months we'll clean it because it gets that smell, you know. And there's three pouches, net weight of uh, 7.9 ounces, and it's washing machine cleaner. So I thought, what the heck? I mean, God, it surprised me. And they, my Dollar Tree at the time, had a bunch of these. I just got picked up two. I wanted to give it a try before I fully became invested in it, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to open here. Oh, okay. Okay, the, the ones that we have that we use, I can't remember if they're a fresh or something I think they're called. They're in a green box. And they're like tablets that you just throw in the drum of your washer. This is powder. I think you might be able to hear that. So basically, yeah, for any washing machine, pour one pouch of washing machine cleaner directly into your washer tub where odors and residues can occur. And then you just, uh, for best results, run washer on normal cycle, select the hot water setting. And it says, uh, oops, that was upside down. It says right here in the corner, 4HE. So if you have a high efficiency washer, you can use it. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, two of those. And then the last bag is most most part just kind of toys, as and ends, um, a little bit of garden. There's some stickers and of course some Easter. I did find the Easter window cleans. There's more, but you know me. So, um, it's a two pack now. So on the one side, just got the Easter eggs, different variety of them. And then on the front, of course, you know, I was gonna go with the gnomes. So there we are. And then for the stickers, um, these are by Jot, nine piece. They're like puffy. It's the pigs, just making different facial expressions. And then unicorns. On the cows. 
They're just so cute. They come out with these every now and then. I'm not sure if when they have new ones, if they're like the same or if they're different. I've got some upstairs in my crafting room in my sticker collection. So I'll have to check that out. And then also by Jot, 72 piece multi-label. Multi um, so for dressing envelopes, packages, whatnot. And then I found, it's called Wow Surprise Novelty Hair Tie. Collect them all. So this is what the packaging looks like. And that's the all them that you can collect. So here's a better picture of the ones you can collect. There's six different ones. I just got the one. So I'm going to open it in front of you here. So here we go. Oh, and it's Ziploc. Huh. So here, you can take a look first. And let's see. Oh my gosh, you know what? I got the bunny. Wow, I'll be darned. Ain't that perfect. It's Thursday before Easter. And I got the white bunny. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Some little gold like that in her Easter basket. Along with this, of course, it's, they're calling it a keychain. And it's the one of those, what are they called? The pop it toys. It's a strawberry. They had a pineapple. I'm not sure what else they had. You know, there's so many of these out there now, but I like really like the strawberry. And then I found these. Saw people home as well. Finally found them. They're the two uh, shoe charms, four piece. And there was three of these packages of different kinds. I think you can put them on your Crocs. I'm sure that's what the, you know they're supposed to go. So you got the unicorn, the um, ice cream cone. A donut that looks like a unicorn and a smiley face. And this one has a skateboard, a tennis shoe, um, earphones, and then it looks like the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> awesome. So I got those. And the last one I found was it says be kind, spread love, be happy, keep it cool. So I'm not sure if there's any more. I just saw these three different packages. And the last part of this haul is from the garden section, indoor garden. This is craft windmill picks, and I got it in the B. So, you know, you can paint this or put color it with marker or crayons. And I would leave it inside, put it, if you have florals inside your house, indoor plants, just put it in that. That'd look cool. So I did get that. And then I found these craft wood animal picks. Same thing. This is of um, a hedgehog or porcupine. Same thing, just color them and then, um, or paint them and then put them in your or indoor flower pots. And the last one reminded me of SpongeBob SquarePants and Gary, the snail. Look at Gary. And folks, that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul for you all. I hope you had enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed our little, um, where'd she go? She must've went out to the living room to take her little morning nap. She hasn't, she's been up since about 6.30 and uh, did her potty thing a couple different times. I've been out with her, so it's probably nap time for her. It's been uh, almost three, uh, four hours. So she sleeps in her kennel while we are away from home, like for work. And then at night she's in her kennel and she is doing wonderful. She goes to bed, I put her to bed about 10 o'clock and she sleeps till about 6, 6.30. No accidents so far in her kennel. She's had, you know, she's puppy. A few accidents here or there, but in the house, but for the most part, she's doing very good. And getting, they're getting along, you know, they have their little squabbles, but Duke's been really good. I mean, she's five pounds and he's 85. So we really have to watch him because his mouth is, is, you know, her head could get in his mouth and his paws could step on her. So, I mean, we're watching them too closely, but so far so good. He's becoming a little big brother protector. But anyway, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe to JD Halls and More. Diane and I would love for you to be part of our YouTube family. And until our next video, have a wonderful day. If we don't see you before Easter, have a wonderful Easter. Stay healthy, stay healthy, stay safe. And remember to be kind. Talk to you later. Bye.